parental alienation is child abuse and it's domestic abuse as well and what you hear on this channel is very much all to do with narcissistic abuse and parental alienation and the two go together in my view Hi everybody, I'm Jack. Welcome back to the next episode in Parental Alienation, PA. What's it all about? From Gardener to Childress. So I'm just covering what parental alienation is about. I'm not talking about the problems, the issues that we have, uh, the types of behaviors so much. Just giving you a good insight into what parental alienation is. So, stepping right into this episode, this is about CAFCAS, just where CAFCAS is coming from as far as parental alienation. Being in Britain, in UK, CAFCAS is the uh, organization that makes these family decisions for us, whether we like it or not. They're basically the independent UK body that represents the interests of children and young adults, young people in the family courts. So they kind of advise the courts on what is and what is not safe for the children and what is in their best interest. Now I'm taking this from their website. When you read through what their view of parental alienation is in their role, this is what they talk about. They focus on the child's needs, their wishes, their feelings. They're making sure that children's voices are heard, basically. CAFCAS seeks to provide an exceptional experience everywhere and every time for children whose living arrangements are decided by the courts. Okay. Sorry, I think some of my bias slipped out there. Carry on Jack. Didn't they carry on movie about that? Maybe they did. So, yeah, they say that there isn't a single definition of alienation or alienating behaviors, and there's not. This, this is their definition. It's one parent carer expresses ongoing patterns of negative attitudes and communication, or, and or both, about the other parent or the carer that have the potential or the intention to undermine and even destroy the child's relationship with the other parent or carer. And that's what we're talking about isn't it? So it says this describes what the parent carers attempt to do basically to alienate the child regardless of whether the child becomes alienated or not it's from the parents okay so it's basically from the parents it's trying to turn a child against the other parent or disrupt the relationship in some kind of way even if the child hasn't turned against the parent in some way disrupt the relationship with the other parents, where there previously was a good relationship. So the alienating behaviors, they range in intensity and their impact on the children as well. So these behaviors, the alienating parents from the parents, they don't all have the same impact on the children. And some folks use far worse alienating behaviors than others, more intense and really, really go for it, some people do, and some are just not aware that they're actually doing it. But then again, it really can be an extremely malicious attempt to turn the child or the children against the other parent. So yeah, the CAFCAS website, if you're interested, go have a look on that. It does actually list some of the alienating behaviors, but I'm not gonna cover that today. And although I'm not actually gonna talk about what the results are, basically parental alienation, can then be the result of the child turning against or withdrawing from the other parents. Basically, the attachment to the other parents is severed. So again, where there used to be a good loving relationship and no abuse, that relationship no longer exists. And not at the decision of the alienated or the targeted parents. Basically, that parent wants a relationship with the child. To get a measure of the impact of whatever's going on with the child as well, they use something called the Child Impact Assessment Framework, CIAF, which is on their website. And they also have something called the Safe Contact Indicator Tool to hear the voice of the child. Sturge and Glazer, I believe, came up with that one. So if you got some good information out of that as well, then click on the bell if you haven't already done so. And I'll be posting the next in the series of PA, What's It All About? From Gardener to Childress. One of the best ways you can actually protect yourself and start this road to recovery, healing, maybe getting your children back, perhaps, I don't know. 
and narcissistic abuse is education is to learn and also to look after yourself that is absolutely so paramount and important your well-being please can you like share and subscribe and if you need to reach out paawareness.co.uk that's www.paawareness.co.uk pop on there call somebody email somebody and so do reach out so until the next time in this next episode of pa parental alienation what's it all about from gardener to childress i will see you on the next time all the best bye-bye